Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're continuing my series on upgrading my home network. I recently put in the Comcast Gigabit Pro service here, which is a two gigabit symmetrical connection to the internet. It's over fiber optics, it's really good, uh, but you have to get your network speed in the house up to the same speed that you've got now going back and forth to the internet. And we spent a lot of time in the prior videos looking at the wired side of my network. Today we're going to look at the wireless side because that's often a bottleneck, especially when you're trying to take advantage of a gigabit or greater internet connection. So today we're going to unbox and set up a new Unify 6 Lite. This is an access point that is running with, of course, the Unify system, which is what I use here for my home network. And we're going to link this up to my Unify Dream Machine router and then do a bunch of speed tests to see how well the Wi-Fi 6 will do versus the AC Wi-Fi I'm running with now. It's going to be a lot of fun to check this out. Now, I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that I paid for the access point here with my own funds and all of my existing access points were also purchased by me, but the Unify Dream Machine router we're using that's going to connect to this was something that Unify provided free of charge. However, no one is paying for this review, nor has anyone reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded, and all the opinions are my own. Let's get to it and get this thing hooked up, but we're gonna start first with a network test of my existing Wi-Fi access point and then we'll switch over to the new one and see what the speed differences are. All right, so in the ceiling right now is my Unify AC light that I bought a number of years ago, and that one has been working just fine for me down here. And we're gonna switch over to my Mac screen now, and I've got a program here called Wi-Fi Perf, which unfortunately is not available anymore, but it's one of the most useful utilities I have here around the house. This is an, a, basically a GUI version of iPerf, and what we're going to do is push a bunch of network packets upstairs to another Mac that is connected to my wired network at 10 gigabits. So let's start the test now and see what kind of performance we get. Now this test is going to push data from my MacBook here on the desk upstairs. And as you can see here, we're getting about 400 megabits per second uh, through my existing AC light access point. And we'll let this test just kind of run through to get some uh, overview of the performance over time. And you'll get these little drop-offs here and there. Wi-Fi tends to fluctuate quite a bit versus Ethernet based on devices connecting, interference that it might be encountering, all sorts of stuff that happens. And you can see that test concluding there. And again, we're in the three to 400 megabit range. Now I'm going to reverse the test now and have the, si the server push data down to the client device here. And let's see what we get there. And as that test spins up, uh, we're getting roughly the same here, give or take, right? So it seems to be pretty symmetrical in its performance. Maybe we're doing a little bit better uh, transmitting to the client versus sending data out. Uh, but overall, pretty good performance here out of the AC light. We'll let this test finish up, and then we'll just check my connection stats here from Mac OS when this finishes up. And we're almost there, and it's just about done. Okay, so there you go. You can see what we got. Uh, what I'm going to do here is go up to my uh, Wi-Fi connection and take a look at uh, the overall connection strength. And you can see our uh, signal-to-noise ratio here, our transmit rate, and of course the mode that we're connected in. And I'm going to make note of this because after we hook up the new access point, let's compare and see what kind of signal strength we get. All right, so let's unbox the new Unify 6 Lite here and see what's in the box. We've got some hardware for mounting it. My hope here is that the plate it uses to screw in is the same as the one I have on my current AC lights. That would make life a lot easier. It looks to be about the same size as the prior generation. So you can see what it looks like here. It does feel a little heavier, so maybe it has a little bit more uh, beefier components inside. It actually feels like the base here is metal. It actually feels a lot stronger than the AC lights do. So there is the access point, pretty simple. Now these are PoE powered. So the power comes in over the ethernet. And I, I hope that it will work with my existing uh, injector that I'm using for the other one because it doesn't actually come with a uh, plug in the box. So if you don't have an injector and your switch is not capable of providing power over ethernet, you're going to need to get one. Uh, this is the plate that it can use to screw onto a wall or onto a drop ceiling. If, uh, if you're using a drop ceiling, this metal piece goes in uh, on the other side of the tile, and then you put this one on top of it. 
And again, my hope here is that this is identical to the one that's already in there. Uh, so let's go over to the one that's on the ceiling now. Let's unscrew it and see if the base lines up. And then if it does, we'll get this thing hooked up and give it a test. Okay, so I'm gonna unscrew this now and take it off the ceiling. And it looks like, let me just line it up here. It looks like this plate is identical. So it should be a, pretty much a swap out here without having to do anything additional, which is a big relief. So I'm just going to undo the ethernet here and pull this out. And now, whoops, got some ceiling tile dust coming down there. Uh, we will find a place for that later. And now what I'm gonna do is just uh, attach the cable to the new one here, push it back in a little bit. And we'll get that connected. And I just wanna make sure we're getting power here. There's no lights on this, so I don't know, I won't know until I get back to the computer if everything hooked up correctly. And I should just be able to screw it back in here. Yep, we're good to go. All right, that was it for the install. Super simple, because I already had the plate there. Uh, let's get this thing now added to the network. All right, so everything is now hooked up. One thing that I noticed, though, is that the PoE injector I had for my AC lights do not work with this one. Uh, so I did have an extra PoE injector that I put into place here. I don't actually have a PoE switch on my rack over there, but if you had one, of course, that would work as well. Now, there are no lights on the inside of the access point here, but when it is turned on and not associated with your UniFi system, you will get a white light on it to know that it does have power and presumably is connected to the network. Now, the next step here with UniFi gear is that we have to adopt it onto our network. And if I go over to my list of devices here, you can see that the basement right now is dimmed out because we've taken that device off the network. I'll probably be getting a uh, notification push to me that that device is disconnected. And now we're also gonna see here that we've got the Unify 6 light that's showing up on the network, but it says pending adoption because it's not part of our network yet. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is just go over to adopt and now this is going to get adopted into our network. And it looks like there might also be a firmware update for it as well. So once it's done provisioning and getting it connected to the network, I'm gonna go in and update the firmware and then we'll do some testing and see how faster or much, see if this one is faster than our other one. Okay, so we've got firmware updated. We've got everything provisioned. And if you check out my connection here on the Mac, you can see now that we are running with Wi-Fi 6, 802.11ax, our transmit rate is 1.2 gigabits per second. Now note that the AC or the six light here that I've got in the ceiling only has a gigabit ethernet connection back to the router. Now, if you're wondering why they only have a gigabit ethernet port on this device and are advertising multi-gigabit speeds, it's because Wi-Fi is still mostly a half duplex technology. So you're never gonna get the full advertised bandwidth going in one direction. So I think the choice of gigabit ethernet on this device is more than adequate. Now at the moment, there are two versions of Unify's Wi-Fi 6 access points. There's this one with a two by two radio configuration. There's also a four by four long range version coming out soon. And it too only has gigabit ethernet on board, even though it's advertising two gigabits plus you're only going to get about half of that in either direction. And of course, the ethernet jacks on these devices are full duplex, one gigabit in both directions simultaneously, uh, whereas the Wi-Fi, again, is mostly half duplex. And I've been shooting this video during a live stream, and my viewers have been very helpful in suggesting some settings that you need to do to get the best performance out of it, because it wasn't at these settings by default. Uh, so what we did here is we went over to the uh, AC6, or sorry, <laughs> the 6 light uh, on the list here. And then we went over to the config gear when that uh, sidebar came up and we switched the channel width to HE80. And we also selected channel 161. And what you probably wanna do is make sure you're on the higher channels. And you also have to make sure you're not overlapping one channel with the other. So if I get more of these, I'll put them on different channels. But for right now, just with the single one here, uh, channel 161 is good for the least amount of interference. So now that we've got everything set up, let's run the test now and see if we get any faster speeds to the computer upstairs. So let's hit the run test button now and see how this comes together. And we're now of course on the Wi-Fi 6 access point. And as you can see here, our uh, bandwidth going from the client, the computer here on the desk to the one upstairs, we're getting 
uh, better speeds, not gigabit speeds here, but we're doing anywhere from two or 300 megabits more. And you can see a couple of dips here and there, but generally we're in the 500 to 600 megabit territory here. And that is really, really good. Again, this is going from the computer on the desk here uh, to the access point and then upstairs through my ethernet network. Now let's reverse it and have the access point transmit data back to the laptop here on the desk and see how we do there, just to get an idea as to the symmetry of this connection. And here again, you can see we're doing about half a gigabit or so. So definitely an improvement here. Uh, certainly not gigabit speed, but it is running better. Uh, one of the other advantages of Wi-Fi 6 is that they are better at supporting multiple devices that are connected to those Wi-Fi 6 access points. So you'll see better performance consistency and better bandwidth as well. And we'll have to see if that uh, long range device that they make gives us better bandwidth uh, beyond what we just got here. That one does have a four x four radio configuration versus two x two with this one. Uh, but overall, I'm pleased and I'm seeing a bit of a performance bump here and I'll be able to take advantage of my connection a little bit better than I was before when I'm on Wi-Fi. And I also took out my iPhone 12 Pro and we got very close to the access point, no obstructions in the middle of it. And here we got download speeds back and forth to the internet at 702 on the downstream and 616 on the upstream. So that was pretty good. Uh, the ping here out to their server in Boston was eight milliseconds. Usually on ethernet here, it's about four to six. So not all that much on the latency side either. And I was very pleased with uh, the overall performance I'm getting from this particular access point. Now there are other ones out there that have more radios and more bandwidth. So we should probably get one of those in at some point in the future to see if having a four by four access point makes a difference versus a two by two. Uh, but I wanted a little bump in speed. I got it here. And when the new one comes out, we'll check that one out and see if having those two extra radios will make a bigger difference here in our overall throughput. But again, we're doing better than we were on AC, and that was the objective. One other thing to note is that I did have some issues with the PoE injector that I was using. Uh, so what I ended up doing was switching over to a PoE switch, and that fixed a lot of some, some of the bandwidth issues I was having initially with it. So I would probably suggest if you can, uh, hook it up to a PoE switch versus just an injector, and that should give you the full performance. We'll probably be coming back to this at some point in the near future, but right now it's up on the ceiling, very easy to install. We got a nice performance boost for the uh, Wi-Fi 6 devices that we have here in the house, and we'll be back again with more adventures in home networking uh, as things develop here at the house. That's going to do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters including Gold Level supporters Brian Parker, Jim Peter, Tom Albrecht, and Chris Allegretta. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.